Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1993 um, actual full-size arcade cap so they've included it on here here's the bit that blows my mind this is the same year that Virtua Fighter was released by Sega which obviously started the true three-dimensional polygonal fighting games uh, sort of well, I wouldn't say fad generation uh, or introduction I would say so yeah this is this is very very interesting I have no idea if it's based on the Japanese manga and anime dark edge but um let's get into it so it's a six button fighter uh see the thing is he, if i'd seen this you know compared to all the other two dimensional fighters up to this point such as street fighter and mortal kombat and things like that street fighter 2 i should say mortal kombat uh, but hadn't yet seen you know the 3d fighters such as you know virtual fighter virtual fighter 2 tech and things like that this as a kid or uh, an early adult I should say well no pretty much a kid and or a very early adult this would have blown me away I definitely would have pumped some money into it because we wouldn't have known anything any better so this being three-dimensional as such even though crude and with sprites would it be a completely different take on the fighting genre is it any good I honestly don't know but I'm gonna show you what the controls are so we have weak punch, strong punch, jump, weak kick, strong kick, jump. I'm assuming that both the jumps are the same. So it's essentially a five button um, fighting game. So weak, strong, weak, strong. Yeah, you know, kind of kind of makes sense. Right, so let's bang some money and this should be very, very interesting. Kind of a bit sort of, but not really, awkward phrase there. Reminds me of Killer Instinct. I don't know. Right. See, it says 1992 there, but on the actual main title screen, uh, you know, the selection menu of games, and you get for the um, Astro City Mini, and on the right hand side, you get a little, you know, ticket of information or synopsis, if you will. Uh, it says 1993. So, this is 1992, um, then it's pre Virtual Fire. But either way, it's still a very, very, you know, um, interesting idea for a fighting game. I mean, they must have known that, you know, Sega must have known or would have been internally be working on, you know, polygons and stuff like that. I don't know, I'll shut up. Love that noise. Right, so, uh, who have we got? Names, they are not import. Oh dear lord! They're kind of cool, apart from him and that. They look shit, but he looks cool. Have I got a gun? Right. Yeah, so do we start sideways? Right. I'm in the background, I'm on the left. You can circle them. Kind of got a, almost a Dragon Ball Z sort of arcade game, you know, fighting style when they're directly in front of you. I wonder if you got that. Power up, power up, you know, special move. This is very, very... I can't put my finger on it. When you... Disconcerting? Confusing? I mean, on paper, I guess it's a nice idea. I have got a gun, then. Give me a list of specials. Oh, by the way, obviously, our health is at the bottom of the screen. Right, let's try that. I'm just trying Street Fighter special moves. Obviously, as you can see, it's not working. We're tied. We're tied. So yeah, interesting. Would have loved this as a kid, um, as an adult. And that's not even, you know, talking about having played, uh, you know, the, the 3D fighting games. Flawed, brilliant. <laughs> mm. 
come on. The moves are clunky as hell. And like I said, I mean, right, you could argue it is kind of three dimensions in the way that you face each other from all angles. But when you're directly on or they're directly on you, you know, you're going into the screen or you're coming towards the screen. It's, yeah, it's a little odd. It doesn't feel right. You don't feel like you can actually connect. I think this is on my modded Xbox. I think I may have tried it. And it couldn't handle it. Have I even got a block? I'm pressing backwards. Yeah, I've got a block. Oh, okay, that's cool. I forgot to try that. You can, uh... You can avoid their projectiles. Because obviously you can circle them in three dimensions. It's just like real life. Fuck balls. The layout of the buttons, though. I wonder what jump would have been on the arcade. Well, no, this is an exact layout page, you fucking idiot. I'm going to try a weak kick and then go into a full strong kick. Oi! Oh, he's got wrestling. I mean, graphically, it's not terrible, but because it moves around like this, it's, it doesn't really give you time to take it in. The animation's not, you know, going to win any bloody awards. I guess with the success of Street Fighter 2, everyone was trying something. Yeah, get some of that in your life. I, I'm going to be honest, as cool as this would have been... Oh, how do I do that? Sound like he was saying fuck you. Ooh. Obviously, possibly, should have looked up. He does, is he? I'm gonna put you down for your fucking potty mouth, you bastard. Come on, one strong kick. I was pressing jump. <laughs> yeah, it's not very good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, hang on. Listen to that. These are Seinfeld. Let's go with someone else. First, I don't even take her his name in. Fighting in the leather trousers. Talk me up. I'm going in. You see what I mean? I'm onto or facing, it's just odd. And there's no bloody combos. Well, there probably is, I just don't know how to do them. And my face is itching. Shizen. I wonder how well this was received at the time, and I wonder how well it did. If anyone remembers this being, it must have made it into some magazines, because there wouldn't have been no fighting games like it. So, what did the press think of it? I could probably just Google. What did the press think of Dark Edge or whatever? <laughs> I'm just using the one punch tactic. Boy, he was never gonna die. Leather and stilettos. Yeah, you'd be toast, love. See, he's got the right idea. He's, uh, blocking. I'm definitely saying he's swearing. No, you don't. Jump. That seems to work. Jump behind them and punch them. Everyone's got the same mode of travel. Oh my god, I'm fighting myself. I mean, it's not the worst. How do I do that? Yeah, it's not the worst person. She's got projectiles, therefore I have projectiles. I want projectiles. Tell me how to use projectiles. Yeah, it's just cut the game. That's the game, not me. It's just cut the top of her head off. She's got a bloody cycle kick as well. I don't like this. Her kick is rubbish. My kick is rubbish. Her kick's alright, even though it's our kick. If you know what I mean. 
I don't know how you do like what do you hammer it when you grab them or something? Someone's chafing. <clears throat> chafing always gives me a gacky gut. Where's the bloke with the face of my nightmares? There. What the fuck? Oh dear lord. Is he rendered? I'm just going to windmill, and if you so happen to be in the way, then that's on you. <laughs> yeah, he looks rendered. He also looks disturbing. Yeah, this was a... I mean, all right, Sega, you tried something different. But it's not very good. Unless, I mean, well, by all means, correct me if I'm wrong, if you think it's fantastic, state of the art, you know, set a new standard in fighting games. What a windmill! Okay. You go from one extreme kicking the shit out of them to being the shit kicked out of you. Is that the AI? He's slow as fuck. I was going to say he slows monkey balls, but I imagine there's monkeys swing through the trees. Their balls move quite quickly. Right. I want to do a hole. Shies and balls. The trick would be to block then. Yeah. <clears throat> or twats her in the face, obviously. Block then twats her in the face. Oh, double knockout. Scratch that trick. It's very difficult to do block though because look at the way you're going. So pressing down, pressing right. Dude, your kick moves are the shittiest thing I've ever seen. Look at that one. That's his hard, powerful kick. It looks like the Daggett from Battlestar Galactica. Oh yes, that was a quote I went with. Is that a dash? I don't know. That's a name. It's not what I would have called you. Fucking odd. Deformed? Oh look! I'm actually trying to see if you can string anything together, and you can't. So, it, you know, in 1992, even if they'd gone for this look, okay, that was cool, this look, um, if you can't string anything together, then this game is already obsolete. Oh, ooh. if that's your claim to fame, life, if you will. You were the voice actor in this. Oh, windmill! Oddly enough, I did that with a kick button. Oh, I've got projectiles. No, you don't. Me? <laughs> oh, out the way! I was definitely out of the way when he shot that the first time. When you just reach in and pluck him out of his suit. That is fucking useless. Yeah. Dark Edge by Sega in the arcades in 1992 on the Astro City Mini. It's it's kind of cool that it's on here so people even know this is a thing. Because it's an oddity, that's for sure. But, I'm not going to lie, even though trying something new and trying the third dimension back then, at least, you know, in the way that you circle each other, um, it's a bit pants. Anyway, uh, look at his face. Anyway, as always, okay, that reflection school. Um, I'd love to know what you think, especially if you played this back then. Um, or did you think it worked out really rather quite well, the way they attempted to do this, that war effect school? You know, 360 kind of fighting game. Oh, ultimately it's just, you know, more style than substance. Love to know. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later. Hey, at least the music's cool.